Hello, my name is Tzvi Ashkenazi and we're going to do a demo today how to integrate the Pasio Nutrition AI SDK into an iOS app and take advantage of the full modules that we provide in the sample code. So let's get started. The first thing you would have to do is to go to Pasio AI, then go to Products, Nutrition AI, Try Nutrition AI, you're going to scroll all the way down and subscribe. During the process, you'll get a key. And uh, once you get a key, save it and we'll use it uh, later once we configure the SDK. I assume you have your own app, but uh, for the demo, I'll create a new Xcode app so I can show you how to integrate everything. So let's call it full demo and it's a storyboard swift let's save it on the desktop let's create let's add a swift package to this project so if you completed the process on our uh, uh, website you will uh, get a link to this uh, repository pass you nutrition ai ios sdk distribution just copy the link and go back to the Xcode and you can add it as a package in several places but I just uh, do it from the project package dependency and just paste the URL here let it find it add the package add the package sounds good so let's uh, move to a full screen one thing we can do before we are starting the SDK is we need to ask the user for permission to use the camera so it's a privacy and it's camera usage and it's a scanning for food let's look at the package that was downloaded so obviously it has a readme uh, it has uh, the term of services, the release notes, the uh, model release notes, there is the documentation of the SDK. And uh, what I'm interested to show you is the demo application. There is a Swift UI demo. We have a video for this. It's a short integration into Swift UI code. There is a quick start demo, the quickest, simp simplest way to integrate our SDK. And today we're going to look at the full uh, demo. The full demo includes the master module, which includes all the files you need to add a nutrition based application into your own app. I'm going to go over it, this in details. And we have also engineering controllers, which are for you to investigate how we uh, do things with cameras, with video. So this is for you to go investigate uh, different implementations. And uh, there is obviously the connectors and I'll explain how it works uh, once we start uh, integrating it. So let's go now back to our first view controller and start to do the integration. We need to copy a couple of uh, files from the demo uh, to our project. So let's just a uh, little bit minimize this. Let's see where this sits on the finder. Okay. And uh, let's uh, uh, include those into the project. I'm going to copy that there and I'm also would like the external connector that's an important file for us I'm going to copy it sounds good so we have this information and uh, we're going to look at uh, other files as we go but let's just uh, bring it back again let's uh, spend a minute to understand how this uh, master module will work within your app 
so everything is completely <coughs> contained the way the app will communicate with the master module <coughs> is via the internal connector the internal connector is uh, uh, there is a protocol that is uh, uh, defining how the information goes from the a module to the application and if you see below uh, in the extension of the PASIO uh, Intel and connector I implemented the PASIO connector uh, the external connector is where your app should communicate with the SDK uh, there is uh, obviously this will be fade away once you start running it uh, there is a uh, code that uh, is uh, this is the important code for you to save and retrieve information from your app so if you have if you have your own database that's how you will work with uh, uh, the database you can also save photos those are uh, marked out but you can so you can it's completely open you can enhance this uh, protocol and if you can see for example I'm saving files and retrieving on the disk so the demo would work everything would work locally so if you don't do anything this external connector will save everything locally okay so what we can do in order to compare where we need to go there's a lot of files and I'm just gonna do a lot of uh, cut and paste from the demo uh, I'm gonna put here uh, the entry uh, view controller so the entry view controller in a way is the first view controller that the app uh, looks and that's going to be that's going to be a way for uh, your app to initiate the sdk so it has just for the a demo it has a label activity indicator and a button to start the sdk so let's just start copying uh, this information into uh, our uh, view controller eventually they should look the same i'm just going to go and explain what's happening this uh, once the sdk is running the sdk will start downloading the machine learning models it will take a couple of seconds there is an activity indicator for uh, for the download and the configuring of the SDK. And when you start the button, you actually start the uh, module with the SDK and everything that is included. So what I'll do in the demo, I'll start uh, copying part of the codes and I'll explain what is the reason that I'm copying I could have just copied everything changed the view controller name to uh, the entry view controller to view controller and it would work but I just want to go through the process so obviously I need to import the passion nutrition AI SDK and uh, I'm configuring a var here it will uh, complain because we didn't put the Passio SDK anywhere so this is some this i'm going to take a break now and i'm going to uh, copy the passive sdk somewhere in the code what you have to do you have to type here and uh, add here your passive sdk from our website uh, let's look uh, what uh, uh, what's happening in the view that load so when the view loads we make the start button hidden because the sdk is not ready and we delegate the passive SDK to us. Obviously, there is no right now. There is no uh, delegate. So let's just pick up the extension of this delegate, and we put it here. And we just change the name of the view controller to this view controller, and we should silence the error. Let's now bring the view will appear and the view will disappear. Uh, I'm not going to go everything over the details, but basically you register and you unregister for uh, did uh, become uh, active. Uh, so now we can see that we are missing the configure uh, um, configure pass SDK. We can also see that this is called when the application is becoming active. And now we get to the point that we configure the SDK. So <clears throat> we are uh, <clears throat> dispatching in the main queue 
responses to um, to the UI and what we do here is we are delegating again the uh, SDK to us and we configure it use the passive configuration which you created above let's just copy this is the action of the button and this is the configure after state change let's add them both So I think at that stage, we are almost ready, but we don't have the buttons. So let's just, uh, let's just do this. Let's add the main. And let crea let's create here, we need to create a label. We need to add activity indicator. And we need to add a button. I'm just gonna put all of those in stack view. I'm not gonna invest, invest any time in uh, doing the UI. It's just for the demo purposes. That's how you enter the application from our end. So the only thing we have to do is to connect the label to label, connect the activity indicator to activity indicator, connect the bottom start here. We also have to connect the action to start the model here. One thing we can do and the activity indicator, let's just make it a little bit bigger and let's do it animating adding when stopped and we can go back to our view controller compare and view controller okay at that stage we have everything almost the same so uh, let's uh, run it and see what happens okay let's try to run it on the iPhone gonna clear everything here now okay it says there's no engineering yes those are not uh, supposed to be added to your module so I'm removing the uh, engineering views let's run it until we see that everything is working and in the meantime we can shrink this and this is my iPhone uh, right now it's on a uh, browser it's installing okay so it's configuring the SDK it tells us the file are downloaded uh, and then when the process is done we can start the SDK okay let's start on the SDK so there's no food log let's uh, try to scan this food it's asking for permission and then once the permission the camera is ready it's going to start recognizing so like now i can pick on it everything is provided for you all this ui you can change the amount you can actually change the portions and then you can log it i have some plastic food here green grapes Let's log it. Let's uh, do more plastic food here. That's what we do as demos. Log it. Now if we go back, we can see the log is there. Let's look a little bit on the code and the view controllers. I'm going to look basically at uh, those view controllers first. So when we are pressing add new item, we have the quick scan is going to be the food recognition view controller and the multi food scan will be the multiple food view controller and then we'll have the texture view controller and then the favorites view controllers at that stage the master module and the passive sdk are integrated through your app and i'll repeat how it was integrated we uh, 
use this view controller to show you how to start the Passio SDK and actually the module and the Passio SDK together. Uh, you have to connect the internal uh, and the external connector together inside the module. So that's how the application will operate. You can communicate with the module directly uh, through the Passio uh, external connector. Just make sure that if you do change the protocol, it's implemented in both places. So this is the communication protocol. Uh, just as an example, usually you can put the Passio uh, key for SDK on the external connector as well. So far, the application is running. We can see that uh, all the functionality is there. And uh, good luck uh, implementing this in your own app and let us know if you need more help. Thank you.